Now for these six graphs, I consider them as level number one. Now we're gonna write down equations with a bunch of transformations, but let's start with something that's simple. Let's start with one transformation before we overwhelm ourselves. So this one is just uh, shifting down for three units. That means our equation must be absolute value of X and then minus three. Yeah, one, two, three, right? Shifting down three units. Yeah, if the printing quality is bad on your paper, that's very understandable. But uh, if you, I mean, the main point is you get the idea that it's shifting down. Okay, so next up, X, uh, well, uh, number two, it is shifting to the right. So the correct answer is gonna be absolute value of X minus two. And a lot of people will be tempted to put down what? X plus two. A lot of people will be tempted, but it is not correct, okay? So um, to make sure that you know what's the temptation out there and you are not being tempted to do the wrong thing. Number three, number three is moved to the left for three units. So therefore the graph must be absolute value of X plus three or x minus negative three, which ends up to be x plus three, okay? So are we good so far with the th first three graphs? And then uh, for the next three, we're not really shifting left or right, we're just uh, stretching. Now uh, for this one, it's a lot easier to consider this graph as a vertical stretch. If you consider this as a vertical stretch, then this is the equation. And we know that it's a two because the slope is now changed to two and negative two. Okay, if you refer to day one packet on the first two pages, there were not any kind of uh, vertical or horizontal stretch and the slopes were all just one and negative one. And when the slope changes, immediately you realize that there must be some sort of compression or stretch. Now, this is acceptable. Now, another one is also acceptable. You may write this. However, this is not the common, this is not the common one. And this is not the easiest one. So I would say the two sitting on the outside would be the easiest and is the most preferred version of the equation for graph number four. And then for graph number five, you see the slope is getting flatter. Okay, the slope is getting flatter and therefore it is gonna be a slope of one and a half. So one and a half absolute value of X, okay? And then for number six, you see the graph being flipped upside down. So therefore it must be a negative sitting in front of the absolute value function. All right, so. You all get six, all six correct? No? Which one got you? Five and six, all right. So yeah, so I would say, make sure you look at the slope and, uh, and make sure that you are very sensitive to the look of the V-shaped graph. If it's, uh, if it's upside down, then you know straight away, hey, that should be a negative, okay, sitting in the front. So those are all level one, just one single transformation. My biggest worry is that, are you able to do the uh, plus or minus inside when we shift left or right? And now let's go ahead to level two.